Nordam Shinak was the king of Cambodia from 1941 to 1955 and again from 1993 to 2004. Also affectionately known as Samdekuv to the Cambodian people, Shinak ascended to the throne in 1941. After the Second World War, he campaigned for the independence of Cambodia from French rule. Cambodia subsequently became an independent state in 1953. In 1955, Shinok abdicated the throne in favor of his father Norodom Suramarit, and went on to form the Sankum, a political organization. Shinok led the Sankum to win the 1955 general elections, and became the Prime Minister of Cambodia. When Suramarit died in 1960, Shinok introduced a constitutional amendment which made him the head of state of Cambodia, a position which he held until his overthrow in 1970 by Lon Nol and Siso with Maitak. A new government, the Khmer Republic, was instituted after Shinok's ouster as the head of state. Shinok fled to China and North Korea and went on to form a government in exile, known as the Royal Government of the National Union of Kampukhia as well as a resistance movement, the National United Front of Kampukhia. As the leader of GOUNK, Shinok lent his support to the Khmer Rouge which led to their victory against the Khmer Republic in April 1975. Shinok subsequently returned to Cambodia and became the figurehead head of state of democratic Kampukhia by the Khmer Rouge. In 1976, Shinok resigned from his position which led to him being placed under house arrest until 1979 when Vietnamese forces overthrew the Khmer Rouge. Shinok went into exile again, and in 1981 he formed Phen Sinh, a resistance front. The following year in 1982, the coalition government of Democratic Kampukhia was formed which brought together the three anti-Vietnamese resistance factions consisting of Phan Sinh, Khmer Rouge and Khmer People's National Liberation Front, and Shinok was appointed as the president of the CGDK. In the late 1980s, informal talks were carried out to end hostilities between the People's Republic of Kampukhia and resistance factions under the CGDK. A transitional body to oversee Cambodian affairs, the Supreme National Council of Cambodia was formed in 1990 which saw Shinok appointed as its president. The following year in 1991, peace accords were signed which led to the creation of the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia. The UNTAC organized general elections in 1993 which led to the formation of a coalition government jointly led by his son Norodom Ranarid and Hun Senator Shinok was reinstated as the head of state of Cambodia in June 1993. When a permanent constitution was promulgated in September 1993, Shinok was made the king of Cambodia for a second time. In 2004, Shinok abdicated again in favor of another son, Norodom Shirmany who succeeded him as king. He subsequently became known as the King Father until his death in 2012. Shinok pursued an artistic career during his lifetime, and wrote several musical compositions. He was also known to be a film producer, director and actor, and produced a total of 50 films between 1966 and 2006. Early Life and First Reign Shinok was the only child born of the union between Nordam Suramarit and Sisovath Kosimak. He received his primary education at the Francois Baudouin School and Neon Muniram School, and subsequently pursued his secondary education in Saigon at Liquor Copyright E. Casiloup Lorbat. When his maternal grandfather Sisso with Munival died on April 23, 1941, the Crown Council appointed Prince Shinok as King of Cambodia the following day. Shinok was officially crowned on May 3, 1941. During the Japanese occupation of Cambodia, he dedicated most of his time to sports, filming and the occasional tour to the countryside. In March 1945, the Japanese military which had occupied Cambodia from August 1941 dissolved the nominal French colonial administration. Under pressure from the Japanese, Shinok proclaimed Cambodia's independence and assumed the position of Prime Minister while serving as King at the same time. As the Prime Minister, Shinok revoked a decree issued by the last resident superior of Cambodia, Georges Gautier to Romanize the Khmer alphabet. Following the surrender of Japan in August 1945, 
nationalist forces loyal to San Nok Than launched a coup which led to Than being appointed as the Prime Minister. When the French returned to Cambodia in October 1945, Than was deposed from his position and was replaced by Shinok's uncle Sisov Manirith. Manirith negotiated for greater autonomy of internal affairs within Cambodia. A modus vivendi was signed in January 1946 whereby Cambodia was granted full autonomy within the French Union. A joint French-Cambodian commission was set up after that to write Cambodia's constitution, and in April 1946, Shinook introduced clauses which provided for an elected parliament on the basis of universal male suffrage as well as press freedom. The first constitution was signed into effect by Shinook in May 1947. Around this time, Shinook made two trips to Sorma, France where he undertook military training at the Armoured Cavalry Branch Training School in 1946 and again in 1948. At the end of the training, Shinook was made a reserve captain for the French Army. In early 1949, Shinook travelled to Paris with his parents to negotiate for more autonomy to Cambodia which led to the signing of a franco khmer treaty that cancelled the modus vivendi signed in 1946. In September 1949, Shinook dissolved the National Assembly and ruled by decree until September 1951 when the Democrat Party pressured Shinook to hold national elections. Shinook travelled to France in February 1953, and wrote twice to then-French President Vincent Auriol to cede control over all remaining executive powers in Cambodia by citing on widespread anti-French sentiment among the Cambodian populace. Auriol responded by appointing the French Commissioner for Overseas Territories, Jean Latournu to meet with Chinook. When Latournu rejected Chinook's suggestion, the latter travelled to Canada and United States where he exploited on the prevailing anti-communist sentiments to call for Cambodian independence. According to Shinook, Cambodia faced a communist threat similar to that of the Viet Minh in Vietnam and the solution to address the communist threat was full independence for Cambodia. Shinook returned to Cambodia in June 1953, and took up residence in Siam Reap. He organized public rallies calling for the Cambodians to fight forces which opposed the formation of an independent Cambodian nation, and organized a citizenry militia which attracted around 130,000 recruits. In August 1953, France agreed to cede control over judicial and interior ministry to Cambodia, while another further agreement was secured in October 1953 which saw France surrendering control over defense matters. Shinook returned to Phnom Penh at the end of the month, and on November 9, 1953 Cambodia officially declared independence from France. In May 1954, Shinook sent NHIEK Xiolong and Tepfen to participate in the Geneva Conference. The agreement signed for Cambodia reaffirmed the country's independence, and also allowed it to seek military aid from any country. At the same time, Shinook still faced domestic opposition from the Democrat Party which was unhappy with his intervention in politics and held a majority of seats in the National Assembly. In February 1955, a referendum was held to gauge approval ratings on Shinook's efforts in seeking national independence, which returned with 99.8% of the electorate approving for his efforts. Sankamira. Equals Premiership equals. Shinook announced his abdication from the throne on March 2, 1955 over Phnom Penh Radio, and swore not to return to the throne thereafter under any circumstance. The throne council nominated his father, Surya Marit to succeed him. A month later in April 1955, Shinook announced the formation of the Sankam, a political organization with a stated goal on forging national unity. Four right-wing political parties led by Lon Nol, Sam Sari, Yum Kyung Sun and Dap Chhuon merged to join the Sankham at Shinook's advice. When parliamentary elections were held on September 1955, the Sankham took 83% of all valid votes, taking up all seats in the National Assembly. Shinook was subsequently sworn in as Prime Minister the following month. In the first few years of Shinook's administration, he introduced several constitutional changes that included extending suffrage to women, 
adopting Khmer as the sole official language of the country and making Cambodia a constitutional monarchy by vesting policy-making powers to the Prime Minister rather than to the King. Between several times between 1955 and 1960, Shyanak alternately resigned and retook the Prime Minister post several times, citing overwork each time as the reason. The National Assembly nominated experienced politicians such as Simva and Sanyan to fill the posts whenever Shinok resigned, but they similarly relinquished their posts each time after several months of their appointment, as cabinet ministers repeatedly disputed over public policy matters. In January 1956, Shinok left Cambodia for the Philippines. The Manila Chronicle published an editorial that falsely claimed that Shinok would sign an agreement that put Cambodia under Southeast Asia Treaty Organization protection. When Shinok denied the claims made by the Manila Chronicle, the United States through its Central Intelligence Agency operatives, attempted to persuade him to reconsider his offer, but failed. The following month, Shinok visited China where he was received by its leader Mao Zedong. While he viewed the Philippines' association with the United States with contempt, Shinok praised China's independence vis-à-vis -vis its relations with the Soviet Union and United States in the Cold War. While in China, Shinok signed a friendship treaty with Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai, as well as 40 million U.S. dollars in economic aid. When Shinok returned from China, the Thai and South Vietnamese governments labeled him as a communist ally and the latter briefly imposed an economic blockade to prevent trading ships from traveling up the Mekong River to Phnom Penh. Shinok pursued a policy of neutrality, but Sarat Thanarat and Ngo Dinh Diem, the leaders of Thailand and South Vietnam who were known for their pro-American sympathies, became hostile to Shinok when he established diplomatic relations with Communist China in 1958. In December 1958, Ngodin Nhua Euro Diem's younger brother and chief advisor, mooted the idea of orchestrating a coup to overthrow Shinok. NHU contacted Dap Chhuon, Shinok's interior minister who was known for his pro-American sympathies, to lead the coup attempt against Shinok. To prepare for the coup, Chhuon received cover financial and military assistance from Thailand, South Vietnam and the CIA. In January 1959, Shinok learned of the coup plans through his intermediaries who had contact with Chhuon. The following month, Shinok sent the army to capture Chhuon, who was summarily executed and effectively ending the coup attempt. Following Chhuon's execution, Shinok accused South Vietnam and the United States of orchestrating a coup attempt to overthrow him. Six months later on August 31, 1959, a small packaged lacquer gift, which was fitted with a parcel bomb was delivered to the royal palace. Norodom Vakrivan, the chief of protocol who opened the package was killed instantly. Shinok's parents, Surya Marit and Kosamak were sitting in another room within the palace, narrowly escaped from the bomb. An investigation was carried out and traced the origin of the parcel bomb being sent from an American military base in Saigon, and Shinok went on to accuse Ngodin Nhu of masterminding the bomb attack as an assassination attempt against him. Equals head of state equals. Surya Marit died on April 3, 1960 after suffering from several months of poor health, which Shinok attributed to the fright that his father received from parcel bomb attack. The following day, Munirath was sworn in as the regent of Cambodia, and Shinok introduced constitutional amendments to create a new post of the head of state of Cambodia which provided ceremonial powers equivalent to that of the king. A referendum was held on June 5, 1960 approved Shinok's proposals, and Shinok was formally appointed as the head of state on June 14, 1960. As the head of state, Shinok took over various ceremonial responsibilities of the king, such as holding public audiences and leading the royal ploughing ceremony. At the same time, he continued to play an active role in politics in his capacity as the president of the Sankum. In 1962, Shinok's relations with the leaders of the Western world started to deteriorate. While attending a United Nations summit at New York in the same year, Shinok felt aggrieved for not being accorded the same level of decorum as with other visiting national leaders. When Harold Macmillan, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom invited Shinok to visit his country, 
he rebuffed the offer when it was pointed out that the visit would not be treated as an official state visit. At the same time, Shinnok have had held deep suspicion of the CIA continuously supporting efforts by the Khmer Sarai to overthrow his regime, and in November 1962, threatened to reject all American economic aid if CIA did not withdraw its support for the Khmer Sarai. One year later in November 1963, Shinnok announced that Cambodia would reject all forms of economic aid from the U.S. He also announced that Cambodia's intra-pot trade, banking sector and distillery industry would be nationalized. A statutory board, Sungsim was set up to oversee policy and regulatory matters on the country's intra-pot trade. The following year, Shinnok signed a secret agreement with North Vietnam and the Viet Cong resistance which allowed Chinese military aid delivered to be delivered to the Viet Cong through the port of Shinnokville. In turn, the Cambodian army would be allowed to skim off 10% of all military hardware shipped through Cambodia, as well as collecting fees for transporting food supplies to Viet Cong resistance bases. Shinnok also allowed the Viet Cong to build a trail through eastern Cambodia to allow Viet Cong troops to receive war supplies from North Vietnam, which became known as the Shinnok Trail. When the U.S. learned of Viet Cong presence in eastern Cambodia, they started a bombing campaign in this region, which spurned Shinnok to sever diplomatic ties with the U.S. in May 1965. Other communist countries including China Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia provided military aid to Cambodia as a result of Shinnok's warming of relations with North Vietnam. In September 1966, general elections were held, which led to many Sankum nominees with conservative and right-wing sympathies to be elected to the National Assembly. The newly elected legislators nominated Lon Nol to be the Prime Minister. Lon Nols was known for his conservative and right-wing views, and his nomination did not sit well with Shinnok. In response, Shinnok set up a shadow government in October 1966 which made up of Sankum legislators with left-wing sympathies to counterbalance right-wing influences. At the end of the month, Lon Nol offered to resign from his position, which Shinnok rejected. In April 1967, fighting broke out between government troops and local peasants in Samlat, Patambang province. The fighting, which became known as the Samlat Uprising was quickly put down, but Shinnok soon developed a suspicion that three left-wing legislators Euro Kiyu Samthun, Hu Yuan and Hu Nim had incited the rebellion. When Shinnok threatened to charge Kiyu Samthun and Hu Yuan before a military tribunal, both of them fled into the jungle and joined Khmer Rouge. Lon Nol resigned as Prime Minister at the beginning of May 1967, and Shinnok appointed Sun San in his place. At the same time, Shinnok replaced conservative-leaning ministers appointed by Lon Nol with technocrats and left-leaning politicians, calling it an exceptional government. In mid-May 1967, Shinnok accused China of supporting local Chinese Cambodians in engaging in contraband and subversive activities. During the spring of 1967, the Chinese embassy had published and distributed communist propaganda to the Cambodian populace which appraised the Cultural Revolution, causing much consternation to Shinnok. Shinnok subsequently sent his foreign minister, Norodom Thorisra in August 1967 and urged Zoin Lai to stop the Chinese embassy for disseminating communist propaganda, but failed. In response, Shinnok closed the Cambodia-Chinese Friendship Association in September 1967. When the Chinese government protested Shinnok's action, he followed up by threatening to close the Chinese embassy in Cambodia. Subsequently, Zhou Enlai stepped in to placate Shinnok, and Chinese embassy agreed to send its publications to the Information Ministry before they are to be distributed for circulation. Shinnok subsequently pursued rapprochement with the U.S., and hosted a private visit of Jacqueline Kennedy to Cambodia in October 1967. He met with the U.S. Ambassador to India Chester Bowles, in January 1968 and acknowledged the presence of Viet Cong troops in the Cambodia while also indicating that he would not stop U.S. forces from crossing into Cambodia to attack Viet Cong forces. Diplomatic relations between Cambodia and U.S. were restored at the end of 1968. When Henry Kissinger laid out plans to bomb parts of eastern Cambodia in 1969, Shinnok refrained from protesting against them. Around this time, 
Cambodia suffered a decline in agricultural productivity due to the drift of Agent Orange from South Vietnam and widespread corruption. In August 1969, Shinnok approved of a new government led by Lon Nall and with Siso with Syrik Matak as his deputy. When Lon Nall left Cambodia in October to seek medical treatment, Syrik Matak instituted policy changes that ran contrary to Shinnok's wishes, such as re-establishing Cambodian troop presence in the northeastern provinces where the Viet Cong were based in, and also relaxed state control of the intrapot trade. In September 1969, Lon Nall and Syrik Matak secretly contacted Sun Nok Thanh to discuss the possibility of overthrowing Shinnok. Deposition, Gia Unk and Kamar Rouge years. In early January 1970, Shinnok left Cambodia for medical treatment in France. The following month, Lon Nall demonetized all 500 real banknotes in circulation to deprive Viet Cong troops of the ability to buy rice and supply goods. Lon Nall and Syrik Matak also encouraged demonstrations to be held outside the North Vietnamese embassy to protest the presence of Viet Cong troops in Cambodia. On March 16, 1970, the half-brother of Monique, Yum Man Ryan was summoned to the National Assembly over corruption charges. On the same night after the hearing, Yum ordered troops under his command to arrest Lon Nall and Syrik Matak, but ended up being placed under house arrest by Syrik Matak's troops. Two days later on March 18, troops were stationed at Po Shen Tong Airport and the National Assembly Building. The Assembly voted to endorse a military government headed by Lon Nall and provide emergency powers. A secret ballot was cast whereby the Assembly voted to depose Shinnok. Shinnok was in Moscow on the day of his overthrow and the Soviet Foreign Minister Alexei Kosygin was tasked to inform him of the news. Shinnok flew to Beijing where he was received by the Chinese Premier Zhou Lai. Shinnok also met with the Vietnamese Prime Minister from Van Dong, and on March 23, 1970 Shinnok announced a resistance front known as National United Front of Kampuk here. Sometime later on May 5, 1970, Shinnok announced the formation of a government in exile known as GOUNK and led communist countries including China, North Vietnam, and North Korea to break relations with the Lon Nol regime. In Phnom Penh, a military trial convened on July 2, 1970 and Shinnok was sentenced to death in absentia three days later. Shinnok alternately lived in Beijing and Pyongyang between 1970 and 1975, where custom-made, large residences were built for him to live. In February 1973, Shinnok traveled to Hanoi where he started on a long journey with Kiyu Samphan and other Khmer Rouge leaders. The convoy traveled along the Ho Chi Minh Trail and reached a Cambodian border at Stung Trien province the following month. Shinnok faced constant bombardment of American planes from Operation Freedom Deal throughout his visit to Khmer Rouge Euro-controlled areas of Cambodia. Shinnok traveled across the provinces of Stung Trien, Pravier, and Siam Reap. At Siam Reap, Shinnok visited the temples of Ang Wat, Banchis Rai, and Bayan. In August 1973, Syrik Matak wrote an open letter to call Shinnok to bring the Cambodian civil war to an end and accepting the possibility of the latter returning to the country. When the letter reached Shinnok, he angrily rejected Syrik Matak's advances. When the Khmer Republic fell to the Khmer Rouge in April 17, 1975, Prince Shinnok was nominated to the symbolic position as the head of state for the democratic Kampukhia regime. He continued to live in Beijing until September 1975 when he returned to Cambodia so as to inter the ashes of Queen Kosamak, who had died in Beijing just days after the fall of Phnom Penh. He subsequently went abroad to recommend the diplomatic recognition of democratic Kampukhia and visited several communist countries before returning to Cambodia on December 31, 1975. After presiding a meeting to endorse the constitution of the democratic Kampuk year, Shinnok was taken on a tour across Cambodia by Kiwi Samphan the following month whereby he witnessed the effects of the Cambodian genocide orchestrated by the Anka. Shinnok asked to resign from his position as the head of state, which Pol Pot rejected. However, his request to resign was subsequently accepted in mid-April 1976 and retroactively dated back to April 2, 1976. 
From this point of time onwards, Shinnok was placed under house arrest until January 1979, and his requests to travel overseas were turned down by the Ankar. Shinnok was taken to Beijing from Phnom Penh on January 6, 1979, one day before Vietnamese troops occupied Phnom Penh. From Beijing, Shinnok flew to New York to attend the UN Security Council where he simultaneously condemned the Khmer Rouge for orchestrating the Cambodian genocide as well as the Vietnamese occupation of Cambodia. Shinnok subsequently sought asylum in China after making two unsuccessful asylum applications with the US and France. Fan signed Khmer CGDK years. A new government supported by Vietnam the People's Republic of Kampukhia was established shortly after the overthrow of democratic Kampukhia. The Chinese government led by Deng Xiaoping was unhappy with Vietnam's role in the establishment of the PRK government. Deng proposed to Shinnok to cooperate with the Khmer Rouge, an idea which Shinnok rejected. In March 1981, Shinnok established a resistance movement, Phan Sinh together with a small resistance army known as the ANS. Around this time, Shinnok started tripartite talks between Phan Sinh with the Khmer Rouge and the Sun San led Khmer People's National Liberation Front as China applied diplomatic pressure for him to collaborate with the Khmer Rouge as a precondition to receiving material aid for Phan Sinh. After several rounds of tripartite talks, Shinnok presided over the establishment of a government exile, the coalition government of Democratic Kampukhia in June 1982. Several rounds of tripartite talks were hosted by China between 1982 and 1987, but yielded little diplomatic progress to ending the Vietnamese occupation of Cambodia. From 1986 onwards, Vietnam faced political pressure from the Soviet Union to withdraw its troops from Cambodia. In December 1987, the Prime Minister of the PRK government, Hun Sen first met with Shinnok to discuss about the ending of the protracted Cambodiana Euro Vietnamese War. The following July, the then Foreign Minister of Indonesia, Ali Alitas, brokered the first series of discussion known as the Jakarta Informal Meetings. The JIMs were held near Jakarta and involved the four warring Cambodian factions consisting of Phan Sinh, Khmer Rouge, KPNLF, and the PRK government over the future of Cambodia. Two more rounds of JIMs were held in February and May 1989. Ali Alatas and the then French Foreign Minister Roland Dumas convened the Paris Peace Conference between July and August 1989 to discuss plans for Vietnamese troop withdrawal and power sharing arrangements for a future Cambodian government. In August 1989, Shinnok resigned as president of Phan Sinh. In September 1990, the United Nations sponsored the establishment of the Supreme National Council of Cambodia, an administrative body responsible for overseeing sovereign affairs of Cambodia for an interim period until UN-sponsored elections are held. The creation of the SNC was subsequently ratified with United Nations Security Council Resolution 668. In July 1991, Shinnok left Phan Sinh altogether, and was elected as the chairperson of the SNC. UNTAC administration era, the Paris Peace Accords were signed on October 23, 1991, which formally recognized the SNC and provided for the creation of the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia. The UNTAC was empowered to station peacekeeping troops in Cambodia to supervise the disarmament of the four warring Cambodian factions and carry out free and fair national elections in the country. Shinnok returned to Phnom Penh on November 14, 1991, and city folks lined the streets of Phnom Penh as he rode on an open-top limousine with Hun Sen to celebrate his return to the country. The UNTAC administration was established in February 1992, but soon faced resistance from the Khmer Rouge in enforcing peacekeeping operations. Shinnok responded by calling to abandon the Khmer Rouge from the peacekeeping process in July and September 1992. During this period of time, Shinnok spent most of the time in Siam Reap and making helicopter trips to supervise election preparations in KPNLF, Phan Sinh and Khmer Rouge resistance bases. Shinnok left Cambodia for Beijing in November 1992 where he would stay on for the next six months until he returned to Cambodia on the eve of elections in May 1993. While in Beijing, 
Shyanet briefly proposed a presidential system government for Cambodia to then UN Secretary General Baltros Baltros Ghali, but dropped the idea after facing opposition from the Khmer Rouge. The general elections were held in May 1993, with Phan Sein Phuc headed by Shyanet Sam Narodom Ranarid garnering the most votes while the Cambodian People's Party headed by Hun Sen came in second. CPP leaders were unhappy with the election results and on June 3, 1993, Hun Sen and Kyo Sim called on Shinok to assume all state power. Shinok complied, and announced the formation of a provisional national government headed by him with Hun Sen and Ranarid as his deputies. Ranarid was not informed of Shinok's plans, and joined the Australia, China, United Kingdom and United States in opposing the PRG plan. Shinok dropped the PRG plan the following day through a national radio broadcast. On June 14, 1993, a constituent assembly session presided by Ranarid nullified the 1970 coup d'a copyright chat which overthrew Shinok, and reinstated the latter as Cambodia's head of state. In the first few days of his appointment, Shinok renamed the Cambodian military to its pre-1970 namesake, the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. On June 29, 1993, Shinook issued another order to officially rename the country from the state of Cambodia to simply Cambodia. He also reinstated Noka Reach as the national anthem of Cambodia with some minor modifications to its lyrics, and also the Cambodian flag to its pre-1970 design. Shinook also appointed Ranarid and Hun Sen as the co-prime ministers of Cambodia with equal powers in a provisional government which was ratified by the Constituent Assembly on July 2, 1993. On August 30, 1993, Ranarid and Hun Sen met Shinok presented two draft constitutions, one of them stipulating a constitutional monarchy headed by a king and another a republican state led by a head of state. Shinok chose the option of making Cambodia a constitutional monarchy, and was ratified by the Constituent Assembly on September 21, 1993. Second reign, the new constitution was proclaimed on September 24, 1993, and Shinook was reinstated as the King of Cambodia. A permanent coalition government was formed between Fensinc, CPP and BLDP, and Renarid and Hun Sen assumed the positions of first and second prime ministers respectively. Shortly after that, Shinook took leave to Beijing where he spent several months for cancer treatment. In May and June 1994, Shinook wrote a series of public letters to the government, starting with a call for fresh elections and giving government posts to end the ongoing insurgency with the Khmer Rouge based in Palin and An Long Veng. When Hun Sen rejected the suggestions, Shinook proposed a national unity government that would see the participation of Phan Sein Phuc, CPP and Khmer Rouge forces with him as the head of state and government. Hun Sen rejected Shinook's proposal for the second time, and cited the Khmer Rouge's past intransigent attitude would make the proposal unrealistic. In July 1994, Shinook arranged the exile of another son, Narodham Chakripong after he was threatened by government forces over an alleged coup attempt against the government. The following November, Shinook made a similar arrangement for his younger half-brother, Narodham Sayarivad to be exiled to France after the latter was implicated in an assassination plot to kill Hun Sen at a relations between the two co-prime ministers, Ranarid and Hun Sen started to deteriorate from early 1996 as Ranarid became unhappy with repeated delays from the CPP in awarding low-level government posts to Phan Sein Phuc officials. At the Phan Sein Phuc Congress in March 1996, Renarid threatened to pull out of the coalition government and hold national elections in 1996, which stoked unease from Hun Sen and other CPP officials. The following month, Shinook presided over a meeting between some royal family members and senior Phan Sein Phuc officials in Paris. Shinook attempted to tone down the tensions between Phan Sein Phuc and the CPP by issuing statements assuring that Phan Sein could not leave the coalition government and there were no reactionary elements to bring down Hun Sen or the CPP. In March 1997, Shinook offered to abdicate the throne, and his suggestion prompted Hun Sen to call for constitutional amendments to prohibit members of the royal family from participating in politics. In July 1997, 
violent clashes erupted in Phnom Penh between forces loyal to the CPP and Fonsinc, which effectively led to Renard's ouster. Shinak voiced displeasure against Hun Sen for orchestrating the clashes, but refrained from calling Renard's ouster a coup d'état, a term which Fonsinc members used. When the National Assembly elected Unhote as the first Prime Minister to replace Renard on August 6, 1997, Shinok charged that Renard's ouster was illegal and renewed his offer to abdicate the throne. In September 1998, Shinok meditated political talks in Siam Reap after the Fonsinc and the Sam Rainsy party staged demonstrations against the CPP-led government for irregularities over the 1998 general elections. Shinok maintained a monthly bulletin, which he wrote commentaries over governance issues and posted photo souvenirs of Cambodia in the 1950s and 1960s. Around 1997, a character known by the name of Ryu Rith started to appear in the monthly bulletin and became extremely critical of Hun Sen and the government. Hun Sen reportedly became extremely unhappy with the commentaries, and called on the king to stop publishing the commentaries on two occasions in 1998 and 2003. According to Renard, Ryu Rith was an alter ego of Shinok, a claim which the latter vehemently denies. In July 2002, Shinok expressed concern over the absence of detailed constitutional provisions over the organization and functioning of the Cambodian Throne Council. When Hun Sen rejected Shinok's concern, the latter issued a letter in September 2002 threatening to abdicate so as to force the Throne Council to convene and elect a new monarch. General elections were held again in July 2003, whereby the CPP won the most votes but failed to secure two-thirds of all parliamentary seats as required by the constitution to form a new government. The two runner-up parties of the election, Fonsinc and SRP filed complaints over alleged electoral irregularities with the Constitutional Council, which were turned down in August 2003 when Fonsinc and SRP announced their decision to attend the swearing-in ceremony of parliamentarians, Shinok announced his decision to abstain from presiding the swearing-in ceremony, unless all parliamentarians from the three political parties agreed to attend. The Constitutional Council subsequently advised Shinok to preside over the swearing-in ceremony, which was held later in October 2003. The CPP, Fonsinc and SRP held additional talks into 2004 and Shinok proposed a tripartite unity government, but political stalemate persisted until June 2004 due to conflicting demands from the three political parties. Abdication and final years Shinok made another call to abdicate on July 6, 2004. At the same time, Hun Sen and Renard had agreed to introduce a constitutional amendment that allowed an open voting system for the selection of the government ministers as well as the president of the National Assembly. Shinok disproved the open voting system, and called on Senate President Kyo Sim not to sign the amendment. When Kyo Sim heeded his advice, he was ferried out of the country shortly before the National Assembly convened to vote on the amendment July 15. A new coalition government was formed on 17 July 2004 between the CPP and Fonsinc, while the SRP remained as an opposition party. On October 6, 2004, Shinok wrote a letter calling for the Throne Council to convene and select a successor. The National Assembly and Senate held emergency meetings to pass laws allowing for the abdication of the monarch, and on October 14 the Throne Council unanimously voted to select Norodom Shirmany as Shinook's successor. Shirmany was crowned as the King of Cambodia on October 29, 2004. In March 2005, Shinook expressed concerns over allegations of Thailand. Laos and Vietnam of delineating borders at the expense of Cambodian territory. Two months later, Shinok formed the Supreme National Council on Border Affairs to address concerns over Cambodian borders with its neighbors, and appointed himself as the chairman. The SRP and Kyo Sim expressed support for Shinok for the formation of the SNCBA, while Hun Sen formed a separate body. National Authority on Border Affairs to deal with border concerns and stated that the SNCBA may only serve as an advisory body. In October 2005, Shinok dissolved the SNCBA, around the same time Hun Sen signed a border treaty with Vietnam. 
In August 2007, a U.S.-based human rights NGO called for Shinnok's state immunity to be lifted, so as to allow him to testify in the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia. Shinnok responded to the call by inviting the ECCC public affairs officer, Peter Foster for a discussion session on his personal experience under the Khmer Rouge regime. Both Hun Sen and Fen Sein criticized the suggestion, with the latter calling the NGO as disrespectful to Shinnok. The ECCC subsequently rejected his invitation. The following year, bilateral relations between Thailand and Cambodia became strained due to overlapping claims of the land area surrounding the Prey Vihir Temple. Shinnok issued a communique in July 2008 to emphasize the Khmer architecture of the temple as well as ICJ's 1962 ruling of the temple in favor of Cambodia. In August 2009, Shinnok stated that he would stop posting messages on his personal website due to his advancing age, which made it difficult for him to keep up with his personal duties. Shinnok spent most of his time in Beijing for medical treatment. He made a final public appearance in Phnom Penh on his 89th birthday and 20th anniversary of the Paris Peace Accords on October 30, 2011. Shinnok expressed his intent to stay in Cambodia indefinitely, but returned to Beijing in January 2012 for further medical treatment at the advice of his Chinese doctors. Death and Funeral In January 2012, Shinnok issued a letter to express his wish to be cremated following his death and that his ashes were to be placed in a golden urn. A few months later in September 2012, Shinnok stated his intent not to return to Cambodia from Beijing for his 90th birthday, citing fatigue as the reason. On October 15, 2012, Shinnok died of a heart attack at 1.20 am, Phnom Penh time. King Norodom Shimony and Prime Minister Hun Sen led a delegation of officials to Beijing on the same day. The Cambodian government announced an official mourning period of seven days between 17 October 2012 and 24 October 2012, and state flags were told to fly at one-third of the mast height. Two days later, Shinnok's body was brought back from Beijing on an Air China flight, and about one million people lined the streets from the airport to the Royal Palace to witness the return of Shinnok's cortege. In late November 2012, Hun Sen announced plans for Shinnok's funeral and cremation to be held in February 2013. Shinnok's body lay in state at the Royal Palace for the next three months until the funeral was held on February 1, 2013. A 6,000 meter street procession was held, and Shinnok's body was subsequently kept at the Royal Crematorium until February 4, 2013, when his body was cremated. The following day, the royal family scattered some of Shinnok's ashes into the Tong Sap River while the rest were kept in the palace's throne hall for about a year. In October 2013, a stupa featuring a bronze statue of Shinnok was inaugurated next to the Independence Monument. In July 2014, Shinnok's ashes were interred at the Silver Pagoda next to those of one of his daughters, Cantha Beaufair. Artistic works. Equals filmmaking equals. Shinnok produced about 50 films throughout his lifetime. He developed an interest for the cinema from a young age, which he attributed to frequent trips to the cinema with his parents. Shortly after becoming king in 1941, Shinnok began experimenting with filmmaking, and sent students to study filmmaking in France. When the film Lord Jim was released in 1965, Shinnok became vexed with the negative portrayal the film gave of Cambodia. Shinnok responded by producing his first feature film, Asara, in 1966 which was marked with a positive portrayal of Cambodia. Shinnok went on to produce, direct and act in another eight more films between 1966 and 1969, and roped in members of the royal family and military generals to star in his films. Shinnok had expressed that his films were created with the intent of portraying Cambodia in a positive light and Australian historian Milton Osborne also noted that the films were filled with Cold War and nationalist propaganda themes. Shinnok former advisor, Charles Mayer had that criticized his films created from the 1960s were of amateurism standards, while the director of Riem Institute, Lee Darry Voth had similarly commented in 2006 that his films lacked artistic qualities. In 1967, one of Shinnok films, 
the Enchanted Forest obtained a nomination at the 5th Moscow International Film Festival. In 1968, Shinnok launched the Phnom Penh International Film Festival, which was later held for a second time as well in 1969. In both years, a special award category was designated, the Golden Asara Prize which Shinnok became the only nominee and winner. Shinnok stopped making films following his ouster in 1970, but started to produce films again from 1987 onwards. In 1997, Shinnok received a special jury prize from the International Film Festival of Moscow, and revealed that he received a budget ranging from $20,000 to $70,000 for each of his film production from the Cambodian government. Six years later in 2004, Shinnok donated his film archives to the A. Permil Colfrena section as Dextra Orient in France and Monash University in Australia. Shinnok produced his last film, Miss Asina in 2006, and went on to state that he was ending all film production activities four years later in May 2010. Equals music equals, Shinnok was an avid singer and song composer, and learned to play several musical instruments such as the clarinet, saxophone, piano and accordion from a young age. Songs which Shinnok wrote were usually based on patriotic themes appraising various aspects of Cambodia nostalgic songs of foreign countries and romantic songs dedicated to Monique. Shinnok led a musical band in the 1960s consisting members of the royal family, who would perform French songs and his own personal compositions. He organized concerts throughout Cambodia in his nationwide tours. In the 1980s, Shinnok regularly held concerts to entertain diplomats while visiting the United Nations headquarters in New York City. He continued the practice of holding concerts at the Cambodian Royal Palace in the 1990s and 2000s. Titles and Styles When Shinnok was crowned as the King of Cambodia in 1941, he was bestowed with the official title of Prey Bat Samdek Prey Norodom Shinnok Varman, which he used for both reigns between 1941 to 1955 and again from 1993 to 2004. He subsequently reverted to the title of prince following his abdication from the throne in 1955, and was bestowed the title of Samdek Prey Upha Uvareach by his father and successor in 1955. The title TRNSLATES2 is the prince who has been king in English. In 2004, Shinnok became known as the King Father of Cambodia, with the official title of Prey Karuna Prey Batsar Sent Mdach Prey Narodam Shinnok Prey Lama Sent Avaraksat, when he abdicated for a second time. He was also referred to by another honorific, His Majesty King Narodam Shinnok the Great Heroic King King Father of Khmer Independence, Territorial Integrity and National Unity. When Shinnok passed away in October 2012, he was bestowed by his son Shimony with the posthumous title of Prey Karuna Prey Narodam Shinok Prey Boram Rotanakot, which literally translates as the king who lies in the diamond urn in English. Shinok was affectionately known as Samdek Uv to most Cambodians, starting from the early 1960s when he became the head of state. In 2004, he issued a royal decree requesting to be called Samdek Ta, or Samdek Ta Tuat, which translates as grandfather and great-grandfather respectively in English. Shinnok was known by many state and political titles throughout his lifetime, and the Guinness Book of World Records identifies Shinnok as the royal who has served the greatest variety of state and political offices. Personal life, Shinnok's name is derived from two Sanskrit words Sida, and Manu, which translates as lion, and jewels respectively in English. He is fluent in Khmer, French as well as English, and also learned Greek and Latin in high school. In his high school days, Shinnok played soccer, basketball, volleyball and also took up horse riding. He suffered from diabetes and depression in the 1960s, which flared up again in the late 1970s while living in captivity under the Khmer Rouge. In November 1992, Shinnok suffered a stroke caused by the thickening of the coronary arteries and blood vessels. The following year he was diagnosed with B-cell lymphoma in the prostate and was treated with chemotherapy and surgery. Shinnok's lymphoma went into remission in 1995, but returned again in 2005 in the gastric region. He suffered a third bout of lymphoma in 2008 and after prolonged treatment, it went into remission the following year. 
In 1960, Shyanet built a personal residence at Konkarman district where he would live in over the next ten years as the head of state. Following his overthrow in 1970, Shyanet took up residence in Beijing, where he lived at the Diawatai State Guest House in the first year of his stay. In 1971, Shyanet moved to a larger residence in the city which once housed the French Embassy. The residence was equipped with a temperature-adjustable swimming pool, cinema and seven chefs to cook his meals. In 1974, North Korean leader Kim Il-sung built Chansuan, a 40-room mansion for Shinook. Chansuan was built near an artificial lake, and Shinook spent time taking boat trips there and also shot a few films within its compound. In August 2008, Shinook declared his assets on his website, which according to him consisted of a small house in Siam Reap and 30,000 euros of cash savings stored in a French bank. He also stated that his residences in Beijing and Pyongyang were guest houses owned by the governments of China and North Korea respectively and that they did not belong to him. Equals family equals. Shinok married Paul Monique Zai in April 1952, the daughter of Poon Pyong Euro a Cambodian lady, and Jean from a section Zai a French banker of Italian ancestry. Monique became Shinook's lifelong partner, and in the 1990s she changed her name to Moninyeth. Prior to his marriage to Monique, Shinook had married five other women including Fat Candle, Siso with Pongs and Moni, Siso with Monikesan, Mam Mani Van Fanavong and Vavit Nolik. Monikesan died of childbirth in 1946 while his marriages to other women all ended in divorce. Shinook sired 14 children with five different wives except for Davit Nolik, who bore him no children. Five children and 14 grandchildren disappeared during the Khmer Rouge years, which Shinook concluded that they were killed by the Khmer Rouge leadership. Shinook had the following issue. Equals ancestry equals. References. Bibliography. Equals books equals. Birchett, William G. and Norodom, Shinook. My War with the CIA, Cambodia's Fight for Survival. United States of America, Penguin Books. ISBN 0140216898. Chandler, David P. The Tragedy of Cambodian History, Politics, War and Revolution Since 1945. United States of America, Yale University Press. ISBN 0300057520. Chin, Kinwa. Southeast Asian Affairs 2005. National University of Singapore, Institute of Southeast Asian Studies. ISBN 9812303065. Finley, Trevor. Cambodia Euro The Legacy and Lessons of Antaka Euro SIPRI Research Report No. 9. Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Solna, Sweden, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0198291868. Geldres, Julio A. The Royal House of Cambodia. Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Monument Books. OCLC 54,003,889. Geldres, Julio A. Volume 1 A Euro Shadows Over Ank, Memoirs of His Majesty King Norodom Shinook of Cambodia. Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Monument Books. ISBN 9749264866X. Marley, Ross and Nea, Clark D. Patriots and Tyrants, 10 Asian Leaders. Lanham, Maryland, United States of America, Roman and Littlefield. ISBN 0847684423. Mater, Harish C. and Julie B. Strongman, The Extraordinary Life of Hun Sen. The Extraordinary Life of Hun Sen at Singapore, Marshall Cavendish International Asia PTE Limited. ISBN 9814484601. Mater, Harish C. Warrior Prince, Norodom Ranarad, Son of King Shinook of Cambodia. Singapore, Graham Brash. ISBN 9812180869. Narong. Men S. Who's Who, The Most Influential People in Cambodia. Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Media Business Networks. ISBN 9995066009. Osborne, 
Milton E. Shinock Prince of Light, Prince of Darkness. Honolulu, Hawaii, United States of America, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 978-0-8248-1639-1. Pier, Sorpong. Intervention and Change in Cambodia, Towards Democracy? National University of Singapore, Institute of Southeast Asian Studies. ISBN 9812300422. Summers, Laura. The Far East and Australasia 2003. New York, United States of America, Psychology Press Pages 227 Euro 243. ISBN 1857431332. Wydiono, Benny. Dancing in Shadows, Shinak, the Khmer Rouge, and the United Nations in Cambodia. Lanham, Maryland, United States of America, Roman and Littlefield. ISBN 0742555534. Equals reports equals, Bonga Currency RTEL, Tildman. KON, The Cinema of Cambodia. Department of Media and Communication the Euro Royal University of Phnom Penh. Archived from the original on August 27, 2015. Retrieved July 8, 2015. Cohen, Arthur. Intelligence Report a Euro 10 Years of Chinese Communist Foreign Policy. Central Intelligence Agency. Archived from the original on August 27, 2015. Retrieved June 18, 2015. Jeldres, Julio. A Personal Reflection on Noradam Shinak and Zhou Enlai, An Extraordinary Friendship on the Fringes of the Cold War. Cross Currents, East Asian History and Culture Review, 53 Euro 64. Archived from the original on September 30, 2015. Retrieved September 1, 2015. Kinets, Erica. Kim Song, K. Wasson, Eric. Chanthal, Prak. His Majesty's Norodom Shinak's 84th birthday are Euro A special supplement to the Cambodia Daily. The Cambodia Daily. Archived from the original on August 17, 2015. Retrieved July 9, 2015. We Mare, Tsar Copyright Verein. Memory. International Film Heritage Festival. Technicolor Film Foundation. Archived from the original on August 27, 2015. Retrieved July 8, 2015.